My name is Jay Dart, and I'm a Drost. The ideas for my drawings, they come from Jiggs, who is my alter ego. He tells me about this place called Yonder, which is a very strange place. He tells me about what he finds there, the people he meets there. I just try and take notes for drawings later on. I think Jiggs is, uh, he's just present. It's not really my choice when, when I hear him. It's just that voice that you can tune into when you tune everything else out. I started to get these items from him. Jiggs brought me this Geistwood log. He also brought me different variations of magical mystery beards, each one with its own power. He also brought me a highly detailed twig library and a collection of Geist saps. The trees are representative of how an idea comes to be. Each ring is, is, is sort of the stage of an idea. Any creation, there's an evolution of how you feel about that particular idea, uh, whether it's um, excitement, frustration, loneliness, and then eventually uh, the idea has to come to a completion. And sometimes following completion, there's a bit of a depression as to like, oh, that just wasn't what I wanted it to be, but then you reach the end and just the acceptance stage of, uh, of the creative process. It, it is what it is, and then you move on to the next one. You just plant a whole forest if you need to, and maybe you'll eventually like one of the creations you make. There's a number of characters in the world of Yonder. Um, some of them are major characters, like the four dads who hover above this world. They're kind of representative of the cloud, where ideas are stored these days. There's this whole other cast of characters, which I generally call fellers, kind of the people who help Jigs along the way. There's also the four moms. They're giants in this world, major characters that, that Jigs is interacting with. They're sort of the gatekeepers to places that are, are far and away. As Jiggs goes further over yonder, he ends up finding a portal, which is basically a doorway to this other part of the world that became known as Beyonder. But that door literally opened when I started working with my son uh, at the time he was two years old. Scribbling is kind of its own art form. Nobody can scribble like a two-year-old. So watching him do his thing and figuring out how to do it like him, how to get back to that original mark making. It's kind of limitless. It's a limitless place where once you start making your mark, you can literally take flight. I wanted Yonder to be uh, a place that's representative of my imagination. Um, you got a blank sheet of paper, anything could happen on that page. 